Uh, hello guys, welcome to the Raiden Trade channel. Uh, today I'm showing you some punching combos because um, a lot of people ask. Uh, it will be the like basic two card combos because the three card combos would take too much time. Just in general, if you have like a three card combo, you want to sequence it in a way that it beats like the most amount of enters possible. Um, it's pretty like pretty obvious in most spots how to sequence because it's like you don't want to lose to Imperium, Ash, etc. Um, so some of these combos require a setup, like they don't require a setable card, but they uh, the combos get better if you have like one card you can just pop for free because you get better force through nip. I will show that later. Later, um, setable cards would be like uh, since it is to beat nip, it's most likely not like talents of trust. It's like if you have multiple sets, fine obviously, but if you don't, you want to keep them up for after nip. So it's mostly like droplets, dark rulers, multiples, whatever. Um, so for the first combo, that's kind of the worst one. It's like Rakia plus any trap. Uh, this co this is the weakest combo if you don't get Nibiru. Uh, uh, sorry, if you uh, don't have a setable. Uh, you go Rakea, pop, summon the Shayama, Shayama, pop, Shavara, link those two off into uh, Yama. Uh, Shavara sets the other trap, and uh, Yama adds Aruha. Now you uh, go Aruha on the trap. Uh, effect trap summons Arama. Uh, you link those off into Rage. You use Sarama, and this, this is the only common that doesn't end on Escape. Um, you set this to be nip proof here, because if you get nipped here, it's fine. You can just set any card or throw silence afterwards and uh, use this. Trigger Yama, summon like this, so it's fine. This will happen a lot that you like you are nip proof in this spot as long as you have a setup of card that you can pop with Shayama. Um, so th that's why board breakers are kind of bad in this because you always have setable cards to uh, extend after nip. Um, so you you pop this, set the reborn. Um, this adds back the Shavara. Now you go Shiyama on the Sarama. Uh, fake Sarama summon disaster from deck. You go like Shavara on the disaster. Uh, and reborn rage. And you go into Caesar here. Uh, you can you can reborn like instead of rage you can reborn Rakea. It's uh, weaker into Super Poly, but uh, you get one more pop the theoretically because you can pop your trap you set of this uh, to get Abom from deck. Uh, and this is kind of bad into Dark Ruler because this is stuck on like this is stuck on field. But you still have Yama, so you can still bring back Rakea with reborn, pop this at back Yama reborn the rage again. So it, it's fine. Like both both have their up and, up and down sides. It's not a big difference. Um, so, um, but now uh, Rakea with the setable, it gets a lot better because you can go for the other trap actually. So uh, you go Rakea on trap and let's say, let's say let me grab a set, random setable. Uh, let's say this is random setable. Um, you go Rakea on trap, trap effect. Uh, now that there are two lines you can take from here. Um, the one line is, uh, is summon Sarama. Since the, if the opponent has Vader or Imperm, it should be used on this. Uh, so you can this you can like safely summon Sarama here. You go Sarama, set back the trap, pop this, effect, float into this, effect, effect, float into this. You go into Yama, uh, adding you Aruha to a hand, and setting the second trap. And now you go uh, effect Aruha on the setable card uh, to summon itself. Link those into Rage. Um, and now you go uh, Shayama on Rage. So if you get uh, if you get nipped here on the Shayama effect, it, it's totally fine because you can uh, you uh, still have like Reborn for Rage with Pop Trap and Yama in Grave. Like it's it's, it's a lot on your opponent's turn. Um, so you pop this, summon this, go uh, Yama and Yama effect and Rage effect. Add back this, and Yama Reborns the Aruha. And Yama instantly pops it. Uh, Aruha floats into Disaster, and now you go Shavara on Disaster. Disaster, bring back Rage. Uh, if you get nipped here, it's still fine because you have uh, Reborn for Disaster. You can escape pop Disaster, something from them, and Reborn Rage, and use Rage on afterwards. Um, and you make Caesar here. Like that's your board, you unimbolt traps. Uh, the other line is a bit different. Um, you go like. If you have this on the setable, you go this on trap, trap effect, and you float into this, pop this, some this. 
you link Dursa to Yama, set your second trap and add Aruha again. Uh, now you go uh, Shiyama. Like a lot of those new combos with one Shavara now uh, will use Sh uh, Shiyama early to get it back into deck. So you can just uh, summon it over next name after you use Shavara. So you pop this for Shiyama, bring it back, effect trap, summons Zarama from deck. Uh, now you uh, link off the Shayama, so this goes back into deck. Put this into Rage. Uh, now you got Sarama effect, set escape. Like, uh, set. If you get nipped here, obviously you, uh, you still have like Arua on your uh, setable card. So uh, you can, like, and then you can Yama reborn your Sarama and keep playing from there. Because Arua is not even using great, so you can do a lot from there. You set this, pop, this adds back Shavara. Now you go Shavara on this effect float into uh, Shayama. Uh, you overlay into Caesar here, and then in the end you use Arua. It seems a bit weird, but it's not bad. Like you, you use Arua on your set card to get the bunny on board. Because now you still have like escape. Even if you get nipped here, you don't have this. You have escape on Arua, Yama bring back rage, so you still have like four like rage plus two pops into SP, etc. So it's like six interruptions or something. And you make Caesar here. Uh, so yeah, for the that's for the Rakea combos, uh, for Aruha and Trap. There's like the uh, kind of the, the old combo where you just have Aruha Trap. Uh, this one would I would only advise to do this against like stuff like Branded maybe that, because they don't play Imperm because this is very weak to Imperm. Because you go Aruha on Trap, summon Trap, summon Sarama, Sarama setback Trap. Pop Aruha, Aruha effect, bring out blue dog, blue dog pop this effect, summon red dog. Uh, go into Yama, you set your second trap and add Rakea. Now you normal summon Rakea, uh, link those off uh, into Rage. Here. Uh, now you go Shayama on Rage. If you get like again, if you get nipped here, you still have both traps with Yama Rage and Grave. You uh, pop this. Um, go Yama Reborn the Rakea and add back Shavara. Yama pops the Rakea, summons Disaster from deck, and now you go Shavara on Disaster. Again, if you get nipped here, uh, and this brings back Rage. If you get nipped here, you have like Reborn for this. Escape pop this Reborn Rage. So still a lot, and you make Caesar. Uh, for the combo with Setable, um, you open like uh, this plus like uh, random Setable. Um, yeah, you go, oh sorry, first the uh, second combo without Setable. Uh, you go Arua on this, like that's the more uh, basic combo. Summon this, this pops. Like, as you can see, like most combos kind of do the same in the beginning at least. Uh, and you add Rakea here. Uh, now you go Shayama on the trap. Trap effect floats into Sarama. You this goes back to deck. Link those off into Rage. Sarama set escape again. Again, if you get nipped here, you have normal some Rakea. Pop, even pop the nip token. You don't even need an additional card. Trigger Yama. Um, so this sets the trap. Um, adds back this to hand. Uh, you go Shavara, pop the Sarama, Sarama effect, summon this from deck, make Caesar. Now you normal some Rakea. Uh, this is weaker into Super Poly, but like mostly decks, like the same deck doesn't play su uh, imp uh, Super Poly and Imperm, so you can, like at least Paul said, you can kind of choose which combo to do because the one combo is good into Super Poly and the other one is uh, better into Imperm. So you can kind of choose from there and you make this. Uh, now for the combo with the setable, this is the safest, uh, like the, the probably the best combo. Um, you go Aruha on trap, trap effect, summon this effect, pop this, summon this. You go into Yama, uh, set the second trap, and you add Rakea. Uh, sorry, I just have to think because of the, those setable lines are like kind of new. Uh, oh no, you actually, sorry, you had, you had Sarama. Uh, now you normal some Sarama. Uh, this is a setable. Go Sarama, set your second trap, pop the random card. Uh, link those into Rage. And now you get, have guaranteed like both traps here uh, without like hard losing to Imperm. 
Because if you get impromptu, you can just keep playing, you still have the blue lock, etc. Again, uh, Shyama on this. Uh, Edbeg this. Resummon this with Yama. Destroy this with Yama instantly. This floats into disaster. So Shavara on disaster. Bring back Rage, and you make Caesar here. Same combo. Um, so now for the uh, for the Shavara combos. Uh, this is like uh, this enables you to make Appaloosa, um, because you're not feet locked as long as this is not on the field. So you got Shavara on trap. Trap bring uh, blue dog. Link those into Yama. Set second trap, and you add Sarama. Uh, this, this is also like if your opponent holds imprint for Sarama here, it's not that great, but it, it, it's still decent. But uh, this this combo is like kind of gas cannon ish. So effect on this, effect of this, um, summon like any name from deck, like Rakea. This goes back to deck into Rage, and then I link both, both of them up into a Palooza. Uh, now you normal some Sarama, uh, go sa from here you have like two options, you can like go, um, you can like, if you have a random settable, you can like just Sarama set this, pop the settable in case Caesar is not good against your opponent's deck. Um, or you can like go Sarama, um, set this, pop itself, go Yama Reborn, summon back Sarama, pop Sarama and summon Disaster from deck, so you still have like Pop Trap on Disaster, Reborn Rage and the Appaloosa. That's if you want to prioritize pop trap over having Caesar. It, that happens in some matchups, but mo in most of them, like you make the Caesar man. Uh, sorry, so we are back in this spot. This is in the graveyard. This is in the graveyard. And yeah, this is in the graveyard as well. Um, you normal summon the Sarama. Go Sarama effect, set Rakea, pop Rakea. Uh, and you go effect uh, Rakea and effect Yama. Yama brings back this. And you summon disaster from deck. Uh, Yama pops the Sarama. Sarama effect summon this effect, pop the disaster. Disaster effect reborn rage. And now you make Caesar here. So, like, this is pretty weak in the Dark Ruler. So, this is not the combo you usually want to go for, but it, it might be fine in some situations. Um, because you, you lose your Yama in grave, so you uh, lose a, some follow up as well. So, uh, it's like not the most reliable combo of all times. And then if you have like uh, the other combo you usually do, that's the safer one. You go Shavara on trap, summon uh, Shayama, uh, set second tra trap, add Aruha, you go Aruha on, uh, Aruha on trap, effect summon Sarama. So again, if you get nipped here, you can just still like Shayama pop any card, keep playing from there with Yama Reborn. Um, you make Rage, effect Sarama, you... Pop, Rage, um, and sick. Oh yeah, you add back this, sorry. Uh, then you go Shayama effect, pop this, summon, uh, effect of Sarama, summon disaster from deck, effect Shayama, pop disaster, disaster effect, bring back this, and you make Caesar here. Afterwards, you normal summon this. So you still have this life um, to trigger Yama and get back to your Rage. Uh, and if you get nipped here, like you still have Mama some this, so you have uh, you can pop something, reborn rage, etc., summon a bomb, so you still have like plenty of interruptions. Um, and now for the like, probably that's even weaker than Rakea combo is the contract combo. Uh, the the like if you don't want to go for a Palooza, this is not really like you have to the same way as Rakea combo. You cannot like cleanly play through nip while ending on this, so you have to go for this if you only have two card combo. But you you do have an Palooza line that plays really well into nip. Um, you go, uh, this contract plus trap, you go contract effect at Requiem, go Requiem, uh, yeah, summon itself, make this effect, shuffle this back, pop trap, trap effect, summon Shavara, then you link those off into Yama, set second trap, and you, oh no, so I'm, I'm sorry, 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 that, that, this would be the normal line, and you, you like, you, you go, sorry, you go, you add Aruha, Grave, Sorry. Uh, and you go Arua on trap, summon Sarama, make rage, etc. Like the, the normal thing you did in the other combos. Uh, but in the uh, sorry, in the Apalooza line, you actually you summon uh, Rakea of trap. Uh, link this off into 
uh, Yama, fake Yama, it's Sarama. You know Masam, Sarama, go Sarama on Rakea, pop Rakea. Effect Rakea, float into Blue Dog, Blue Dog pop this. Effect of this, summon uh, Shabara. Now you link those off into Rage. Uh, Shabara sets your second trap. You link those off into Appaloosa. Uh, now here you go uh, Blue Dog on trap. You go, uh, now this is important, you go channeling one Yama, channeling two trap, because you uh, you summon disaster, and Yama brings back rage and pops disaster, effect disaster, we want this, and you overlay those into Caesar. So it's the same as Shavara trap, but the norm, like the Shavara trap line is very good into nip, while the contract trap line is a lot worse into nip. So you, um, you are more incentivized to go for this uh, setup with if you only have contract plus trap. Ob obviously matchup dependent, but into like most uh, normal decks. Um, so that should be it for the basic two card combos, I think. Um, another thing you can like in j j just if if you get close to time or something, which can be important. If you have like this and any normal summon, like let's let's say even like let's say this, uh, you go Shavara on this, summon the Shayama, because they will hold Ash for this. So you overlay those into Caesar. Normal summon this. Link into Yama. Go uh, chain link one Yama, chain link two Caesar, chain link three Shavara. Set your second trap. Um, and you, you add your contract. Um, now you go Shayama on trap. Trap effect. Summon whatever you want from deck, like either Arua or uh, it's probably Sarama. Doesn't really matter. Then you link those off into. Rage, you make up a loser here, and now you can use activate this, and you are ash proof at this point. So if this cannot be ash, you can safely gain your thousand life points in case you are in time when starting your turn. Um, so and then for like additional combos, like two, because uh, with the new sub your bell support, this might get more relevant. So um, this is actually a one card combo. This is a really nice combo. So. Um, so like you, you normal summon this effect at the uh, spell effect at this normal summon this link both into Yama. Sorry, take this off screen. Um, Yama effect at your red dog. Then you go effect trap pitch red dog. Summon back this effect red dog. You set the uh, one trap. It doesn't matter which one. We, uh, sorry. Oh, it does. It uh, does matter. It's a reborn. Sorry. Uh, you set the reborn. Uh, now it's a bit unconventional, you go, you link those, because it's only one card, so you have to get into your full Ancient Engine somehow. Uh, you go into the Abyss Actor, which lets you pop one face-up card, you go effect, pop opening. Uh, now you trigger Yama, reborn this, pop your trap, effect trap, float into Sarama, you link uh, those two off into Rage. Sarama effect, at, uh, set back your reborn mm. trap, pop this. Effect of this, add back your Shavara, go Shavara on Sarama, Sarama effect, let's just summon this, and you end on uh, Caesar with a uh, Reborn Trap for Rage, with only the backing beast. So this combo is really nice, for because it's, it's another one card, and this might be better than Turgay in the next set with the, uh, with, uh, the UBL support, especially with the Fiend spell, that lets you add this. Um, and then for the last combo, uh, it's this plus trap. Uh, so you go normal summon, at this, effect at this, normal summon, link those off into, sorry, into Yama, Yama effect, add your Shavara, effect Shavara on the trap, uh, effect trap, bring out this, now you link those off into rage, effect Shavara sets your second trap, um, now you make up a loser. Um, now you go uh, Shayama on your trap. Uh, you can use a uh, trap plus Yama here. Uh, one sec. To this is I need to bring back. Uh, I think it's Shavara. Yeah, um, yes, uh, you summon Shavara, you bring back Shavara and uh, your trap summons Sarama from deck. 
Um, now you, sorry, now you go Sarama effect, uh, set your trap. Uh, you can pop a random card, but you, you can pop this for free, so you might as well pop this. Um, and then you go Shoyama effect, pop Sarama, uh, summon your disaster from deck, and you make Caesar. So uh, this is like really good because you, you have like pop trap for this. Uh, this can bring back rage on your opponent's turn, so you get a lot of uh, like interruption of these cards. So like might be some comments you have to like you want to watch out for. Uh, might be more relevant like with the Ubel support in this month. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for the combos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, shoutouts to Leon for providing me with the cards, and shout big shoutouts to Daniel Hartman who like found some of these combos and helped with the other combos. So big shout out to him and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.